You! Magnolia! Oh, how could you leave me? I woke up and everybody was gone! And just what were you two up to in the middle of the night? Hmm? We saw him! The man with the purple pen! Purple pen? We think he went that way! We have to catch him! We do? But what about... Oh... All right. Is that the man with the purple pen? What? No, that's... Finally we meet, my young friends. My name is Altair. Tis? J'exige de savoir la vérité! What have you done with Tis? Worry not. I have done young Tis no harm. I am merely borrowing his body that I might speak with you face to face. First of all, congratulations on rediscovering the Levistone. I had thought to tell you myself, but you and Magnolia here have saved me that trouble. Then, there was one other matter. Yes, the true objective of the man you know is Kaiser Oblivion. The Kaiser's true objective? You mean there was more to his plan than breaking the boundary between worlds? I mean precisely that. All of the information I have gathered has led me to that conclusion. My hypothesis is that the Kaiser is, in fact, attempting to... Who goes there? How did you find this place? An intruder! Seize him at once! <laughs> ah! A scream? Something is happening down there. Ah! A conversation will have to wait. We must hurry. Of course. Identify yourself, scoundrel! <laughs> so you are the ones who fired upon this Skyhold. S skyhold? I know of no such thing. <laughs> <laughs> you are a liar, and a poor one at that. You, Geniolja, and his friends led me to this place. I was very right to let them run free. As for your impressive cannon... Allow me to see to that. Stop! The SP tank! SP tank? Why so desperate? Is this tank rather... Important to your cannon, hmm? That tank holds the SP of generations and generations of our people. Does it now? All the more reason to destroy it. And each and every one of you! Get out of here, you two. We'll take it from here. Forgive us. <laughs> so you appear. How very expedient. The tank, the cannon, and you. <laughs> what a neat quarry. I did not expect such a crisis while young Tiz was sleeping. But so be it. My strength is yours. I fight at your side. Ready yourself.
Let's give him all we've got! <laughs> you have skill, but it is pointless. Undo! It's no good! We can't beat him! We have to keep fighting! Sooner or later! Sooner or later what? Every strike, every wound, it will be as if they never happened. All you can do is pray. Pray for a merciful death! <laughs> At this rate, we will exhaust our stamina. I suppose I must get serious. What? His power of undoing is, in essence, a localized manipulation of time. In other words, he can rewind time if only for a very short period. But such small tricks cannot withstand the true power of time's flow. The power of time's flow? You mean SP? But do you think the SP in this hourglass will be enough? No. Fortunately, we have a far greater resource at hand. Behold! Out there! The tank! I designed that tank myself, you know. Enter the secret override code and... <laughs> Voila! The SP comes pouring out. This should be the undoing of our foe's undoing. Time is of the essence. Let us strike him down! <gasps> what is this place? What is this I see? This vision? How can it be? I simply intended to store the power of time as SP. But these are memories of my past, which means, of course, thoughts and emotions are inseparable from the flow of time itself. Altair! Oh, oh, uh, forgive me. We have a battle to fight, don't we? You believe you can prevent me from using my power? I will not be deceived by your lies. Undo! 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 No! Even in the midst of this great flood of time, he was able to... But look! His powers aren't as strong as before! This is our chance, everyone! Come on! I cannot fall. Not like this. But if I must, I will take this accursed cannon and your tank with me. Never! Never! <laughs> 
<laughs> Step aside, fool. Never. This is the greatest relic of my people. <laughs> and so you think it is worth your life. That is a price I am willing to pay. Arrêtez! What is this? Move, little boy. Have you a death wish, too? <laughs> oh, do I scare you? Go run in terror, like a good little boy. I... I am not going anywhere. You stay away from my papa! Touche pas, mon père! I... I will not let you! <laughs> Very well. Then die as a family. Procyon! Inconceivable! In the nick of time. <laughs> Is this the end for me? <sighs> Rev, my son, may your soul at long last be free. Free from your father's delusions and from the hatred and grief that has bound us both. And... <gasps> Procyon, are you all right? Yes. Hmm. Listen to me, my young friends. With the SP tank empty, the Sagittas cannon is useless. Now our only hope to stop the Kaiser lies with you, and you alone. Speaking of the Kaiser, you said you had a theory about his true objective. Indeed. I believe... No, I am convinced. The Kaiser intends to unleash the power of the space-time compass. <gasps> As you know it, the compass of space and time. A relic which has no conceivable use on its own. But when the boundary between worlds is breached and it is bathed in cosmic light, it grants its bearer the power to transcend the very fabric of space-time. Impossible! This is the Kaiser's true goal? I am certain of it. He would use the power of the compass to return to the past and alter the course of history. But that... Hold it right there! If he changes the past, then what happens to this world? If my theories are correct, it would simply disappear, and a new world would be born in its place. It would be as if this world had simply never happened. That's preposterous! This world and everyone in it would vanish from existence? We can't let that happen! I could not agree more, you. And that is precisely why we cannot allow the Kaiser to unleash the Compass's power. To protect this world and its people. Absolutely. Ah, uh, but night gives way to dawn, and our time together must come to an end. What? Why? It would seem I can only appear to you at night, when the moon shines bright in the sky. And now, I must return this body to young Tiz. Do give him my regards. But before I go, I would leave you with some cherished words of advice. Scenic vistas, like grapes, improve as you go up. Which means what, exactly? <laughs> I pray for your victory, friends. Bonne chance! So that's what happened. I did have some idea, but still. You mean you could feel his presence? I knew that something was odd. 
like there was someone other than myself inside me. Oh, and there was a letter in my pocket when I woke up. Take a look. My dear friend Tiz, please forgive me for borrowing your body for the evening. My name is Altair. Once I lived as a man like you do, in a time long forgotten to humanity. Now, only my soul remains. Until recently, this soul of mine slumbered in a certain stone that I might attend to some unfinished business in this world. At first, I feared that if I made my presence known, you would try to expunge me from your body. And so I remained silent. But as I traveled with you and your friends, I came to change my mind. It started with a few entries in your diary. Then I began to advise you from out of sight. Young souls struggling bravely against a formidable foe. I just couldn't leave well enough alone. After all, Luxendark was once my home as well. Though I parted from it in life with some regrets, I do not want to lose this world I once shared with my one true love. Tis, I am counting on you and your friends. Stop the Kaiser and save our world. P.S. I understand if you choose to have me exercised at any time. Kind of feel bad for calling him a stalker. Do you know where Altair is now, Tiz? I can't say for sure. But I know I'm not going to have him exercised or anything like that. Yeah, not after he's done so much to help us. Oh, good morning, Mr. Lotus, Elder. <sighs> you are the saviors of our village. Words cannot suffice to express our gratitude. Words are more than enough. We only did what we had to do. Well, actually, there is one thing. If it's in our power to give, just say the word, and it is yours. Brilliant! You approve, right, Elder? Naturally. It is the least we can do. The engineer in me can hardly wait. Oh, it's Her Holiness. I have terrible news, everyone. The Skyhold is on the move again. It would seem we are headed for the Temple of Water. Drat! They beat us to the punch again! All the soldiers are bustling about and... <gasps> Someone's coming! Farewell for now! Ha! <sighs> Wait till they get a load of the barrier we put up around the water crystal! This is our chance to deal the Empire a decisive blow! Let's hurry to the temple! Be safe. I'll get busy on your request while you're away. <laughs> <laughs> 